What's up everyone, it's Alec here at Soulful Guitar Lessons. I want you to grab your guitar and I'm gonna show you how to play chords like Robert Glasper, only on the guitar. We're gonna use Aw Yeah from his Black Radio album featuring Music Soul Child as an example. And we're gonna go through five different chords. And it's gonna stretch you a little bit. I bet you haven't heard of some of these chords. But once you get it down, you'll have it under your fingers and you can use it anytime. All right, here we go. So what's going on here? Like, what key are we in? What chords are we playing? And we can get to all that. In my mind, we're in the key of C, okay? And it starts off in C major, and we go to C minor, all right? So the first chord is actually the same as the second and third chord. So I'm gonna put my middle finger on the third fret low E string. And then my ring finger is gonna bar the third frets as well. The D and the G string, and then my pinky is gonna hit the fourth fret B string. It's gonna sound like this. And this, in my mind, I'm thinking E flat major, but the third is on the bottom. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. You're gonna, you're, it's more important to play the chords than actually understand what's going on. You can understand everything later, right? But I want you to get this stuff under your fingers. So this is our first chord, right? It's like an E flat major. All right, now we're gonna move this exact same shape up two frets to an F major. And then the same thing up two frets to a G major. These are our first three chords for Ah oh Yeah. And as a guitar player, I feel like we don't play these type of chords a lot. And with Robert Glasper, it's super, super cool because he's able to get these cluster, right? He has 10 fingers. We only have, you know, five. Um, so he's able to get voicings. They're called cluster voicings, which means like certain notes are really, really close together. You know, so if you're playing a chord, instead of it being spread out like this, you're able to, you know, dial in maybe two, three, four notes all clustered together, right? And it gives it that that sound that you're hearing. Uh, I remember hearing Black Radio for the first time in Chicago. Like, I was living in Chicago at the time, and I saw Robert Glasper at the Double Door, and he was touring that Black Radio album, and man, it, like, it totally blew my mind. I had never heard anything like that. And honestly, I'm such a big fan of his still. He he just played over here in LA, right on Vermont Street, um, just releasing his Black Radio 3 record. Man, it is just incredible. But anyways, if you haven't checked out a lot of Robert Glasper, these type of voicings are very, very common. And then we have a C major seven chord. And then the final chord is an E flat over an F. Or if you don't know what that is, you can literally just bar the eighth fret and just avoid playing the low E string. And it sounds like this. Right? So here are our chords again. going on as these chords are playing we're not super able to do this as guitar players but there's a riff happening Robert's playing right it's on this it's like pedaling the G note um, we can't soup we can't do that because we don't have all these fingers but if we can highlight the G note especially right here it would add to the momentum of the song so check it out So now you guys have some chords under your fingers that sound like Robert Glasper. Now I'm gonna give you a warning. 
say you're playing at a jam session, say you're hanging out and there's a keyboard player and they're playing these chords. He or she's playing these kind of chords. Don't also play these chords on top of what they're doing because it's going to get messy. It's going to get clustered because you guys are playing the same thing. It's going to be a lot of information for the listener. These chords are specifically like if you're hanging out and you're playing with maybe with another guitar player or you're the only chordal instrument on a gig, you can put these chords in. But if a keyboard player is playing these chords, avoid playing these. You know what I'm saying? Because two people saying the same thing, it gets like a lot of chatter and it it's hard for the listener to decipher what's going on. Thank you so much for tuning in. Drop me a comment below on your favorite Robert Glasper song. If you found this video useful at all, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel and I don't want you to miss out on any of these videos. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Take care.